So I just whipped the seat off this and connected this battery out real quick and we've actually got power. I was told this thing didn't work. Oh, oh, listen to that power. Ooh. I mean, that you know, why have two difference? You've got a sport mode and a relaxed mode. So today we are starting a new project. So this is a Suzuki King Quad 300cc uh, 4x4. This engine's been apart. Um, it was a little bit dodgy. It's got like RTV and stuff. So we're gonna get rid of this engine. Now I do have a spare quad, exactly the same as this. It was off a farm and I bought it because of the front end. What I'm gonna do is take the front end out of that one and flip it and put it in the back of this. So we've got the back of the quad stripped out and now we've got the front end here I was talking about off that part squad bike. I just saw Zord it straight off. Guide is actually the bearings very well worn and these U-joints need rebuilding. So I've got a heap of these tabs cut. These were $60, um, all laser cut. So really easy done, um, saves me a ton of work. I was gonna make these myself. So all we're gonna do is weld them on there like that. Uh, one either side and put our A arm at the bottom like that roughly. And then once we've got both of those there, later on we can run a little gusset across and join them together where it's not gonna foul the arm. And they'll be nice and strong. They're made out of three mil plate, so they should be pretty good. So let's weld those on. So we've got this thing looking pretty good here. We've made a lot more space now at the back, we've taken off all that where the seat used to be. And obviously now we can sit down, um, sort of once the diff's in there, we can sit down on top of the diff. Um, and yeah, I think this, the wheelbase of this thing looks really good. So it's a lot bigger than Big Red. So we're gonna have a lot more stability. And when we do the long arm um, suspension kit, we're obviously gonna have a lot more travel and a lot more of ground sort of footprint on the ground. So that'll be good. And hopefully we can get some beefier tires than these. Now these, these rear wheel bearings are shot. This one here just moves like that. So the hubs obviously aren't bolted as well with the CVs, but yeah, that rear bearings are shot. So we're gonna have to rebuild all those, sand all these arms up, make them look nice and put obviously some better shocks because these are all buggered. Now what I wanna do is take the absolutely tedious job that I do not wanna do and slice down here somehow. Let's deal with these handlebars.
say this thing is starting to look really good, but it is very far from being done. We don't even have an engine for this thing, so we've got to do a lot more chopping up of the frame and welding and strengthening everything. Now the body needs to come down more, the wheels need to come out, so probably need some more offset on the wheels. Now, I don't have a motor sorted out for this thing yet. I'm not even sure what to do there because we do have to have reverse because I don't want it to be like Big Red and get stuck somewhere with no reverse. So if you guys want to help support the build, uh, you can go check out the link in the description to the mer new merchandise. Any little bit helps. Now I do need to come up with a name for this thing, so if you guys have any thoughts about that, definitely drop it down below in the comment section. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the future video on this thing that will be next year. I do have a lot planned for next year, so I'm super keen to jump into it with this brand new workshop that we have. I just want to thank all you old and new subscribers for sticking around and supporting the channel. I wish you guys a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and hope you guys stay safe and I'll catch you guys bigger and better next year.